Hey everyone, it's Jordan Page and I am coming to you from Texas still and I'm excited to be doing this College Express video about what to expect when you're entering college. Now take everything in this video with a grain of salt because everyone's college experience is going to be completely different. You've probably talked to family members and friends about their college experiences but trust me when I say no one's college experience is going to be exactly the same. With that being said, there are some general things that you can expect from college and that you want to kind of keep an eye out for. You're likely going to be faced with some opportunities and some experiences that you've never, you know, been a part of before. Some of these are going to be fantastic experiences and others may not be the best ones for you to choose to continue with. By that, I mean, you know, there's potentially going to be college parties. Um, there's probably potentially going to be underage drinking. Honestly, I'm not going to tell you what to do with your life, but I will say to always keep in mind where you want to go in life. And if you're trying, if you're kind of stuck making a decision, I say to always think, is this decision going to help me where I want to go in life or is it going to hurt where I want to go in life? With these situations, you may be experiencing some peer pressure, which when we all hear the word peer pressure, I'm sure not the only one that I'm like, ugh, yes, we know. Okay. But trust me, it, it's a thing like it, it is it's an actual thing I fortunately have not you know experienced a whole ton of it in my life but I do know plenty of people who have so it is definitely a real thing and be sure to try and stop and take a second and figure out what your own brain is saying rather than trying to please the people around you or doing what everyone else would like you to do and that doesn't only go for negative things too. Some positive things as well, like, you know, you may have an opportunity to join a club or whatever, but if you're just like, you know what, I'm just really not feeling it, then hey, it's your decision. If it would look great on your resume, okay, yeah, that'd be cool. But if you really wouldn't give 100% to that club, then don't stress yourself out too much about it. The other thing to expect is that hopefully you're gonna make some new friends, which is fantastic. Hopefully you will be able to meet people from all different walks of life. I was really excited when I got to college because I knew my college was very diverse and I was not disappointed. My classmates come from multiple different continents, multiple different countries, and it has been so awesome being able to have conversations with them and see how things are different from where they grew up to where I grew up. With that being said, think of the the uh, you know the old phrase, uh, find new friends but keep the old. I know that doesn't apply to everyone because some of you may be coming from somewhere that you're like, you know what, really, I just want to start over. I'm really not you know concerned about the old friends. But I know for probably a lot of us, you are still gonna have friends that you're a little sad to leave behind. And I can just say, make sure you keep in touch with them. For me, I have a really hard time just telling myself to pick up the phone and call someone or text someone because I'm afraid I'm gonna be bothering them. But Genuinely, if you miss someone, you want to talk to someone, pick up your phone and text or call them. I don't think they would be annoyed if you both really want to keep in touch when you separate off into college and go about your lives, then I don't think that other person's going to be annoyed if you're trying to get in touch with them to say hello. Another thing to expect when entering college is that this is not going to be a piece of cake. This is not gonna be a walk in the park. You are gonna, if you wanna get good grades, you're gonna work your butt off. You gotta put work into it and you will get positive things out of it. College is not for everyone. And it is completely okay if you start college and you go, you know what, this is really not for me. Or you know what, I would rather take a gap year. or I would rather take some time. That is completely okay. This is your journey through life. This is no one else's journey through life. So what's good for you and what's best for you is going to be different than what's best for everyone else. But don't be looking at college and going, you know what, this is just too hard. I don't want to do it. Because if you truly want to get the college experience and you want to get a college education, you're going to have to work for it. And I think when you get out of your one year, two year, four year program, however long it is, I think if you are really excited about the, the line of work you're gonna be going into, that hard work will be worth it. Following along with that topic, because college is so difficult in multiple different ways, mentally, academically, physically, whatever it is, make sure to take some time for yourself. My last thing is, you are most likely going to be homesick. Homesickness is to me one of the worst feelings in the world and I struggled with it when my parents moved me into my apartment. Um, that specific night that they moved me in, I sat there and I was a wreck. I was crying. I honestly was sitting there and I was going, I don't know if I can do this. Can I do this? Was this a mistake? I don't know. 
Fortunately, I had orientation the next day, so I was able to meet who was in my class, not very much, but I was able to see who was in my class and then kind of go on a scavenger hunt with some other students and really got into the swing of things in Vancouver and with the school, so I was really grateful for that. Of course, that's not gonna be the case for everyone. I know a lot of schools you move in and you have a few days before your classes start or before orientation, whatever it is, starts. Um, but just know that feeling homesick is okay. There is nothing wrong with it. Um, and I think I speak for most experiences when I say you might be questioning, can I do this? Was this the right decision? But I think in a few days time, you will realize hopefully that you are happy where you are, you're happy with your decision and you'll start making those new memories that when you're homesick, you can say, yes, I do miss home, but I also really enjoy where I am and I'm excited to be in the stage of life that I am now. That's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all in my next video.